This is Muta Baruka. We want to present to you a wholesome kind of level of consciousness right now. So subscribe and tell your friend them. This is Muta Baruka. Yeah. Comrades or greetings. Comrade party leader and the next prime minister of Jamaica in a matter of soon come. <laughs> Maximum respect, Comrade Leader. To our guest speaker, man who we know from cricketing days, Deputy Prime Minister, welcome. To your Member of Parliament, a stalwart in the People's National Party, and a comrade that has played a tremendous innings for the party. And if we were to go to track and field, he has run a blistering leg on the relay. Comrade Peter Phillips, Dr. Peter Phillips, respect you. Comrade Dennis Gordon, we are taking over for that really in East Central St. Andrew. And we are expecting another blistering leg on that really and another 30 years from a servant of the people in this constituency. To all of the other comrades on the platform, all the comrades in the audience, I greet you well. I am here to bring greetings, but in true date and fashion, we have to talk some things. And we talk the things, then whether them sue, yes or no, we still talk the things. And I want to say to you that I see this government taking credit for the work that is not theirs. And I want to say, is he who do the planting should do the reaping. And it is Dr. Phillips that set this economy on the path that it is on. And therefore, it is the People's National Party that must do the reaping. Imagine running a race, handing off the button and the man turn back and run back where you're coming from. That is what this government is doing. Because they came and said they're taking us from poverty to prosperity. But based on the new data that we have, poverty has gone up. So they're taking us from the progress that we were on and taking us into poverty. And they don't like when you talk about these things. When you talk about these things, they come with all manner of evil and try all sorts of stunts. Every Friday for the last month, there's an article in the paper that they must sue me. Lord of mercy. Every Friday, you know. Because somehow that's supposed to mean something I go up on the political platform. Well, I am here today. And as I am here today, being up a man of integrity, I want to ask this prime minister, if you are part of the six because your integrity filing not get certified yet. When we come as PNP, this is a party that believes in equality. This is a party that put the interest of the nation first. This is a party with leaders with integrity. You know, here for a leader, them name get called up in a them sort of things. I hear them guys from Mobile say the six is real. But if you listen to this government, you wonder if the six is real. Because we say, I don't know that we, and them are hide as to whether any of them involved in it. I have talked to them far and wide and have not yet heard of anybody. But there is a gag clause because we don't want you to talk about it. Well, there are persons in the Labour Party who already were talking about Integrity Commission. Montague said that the Integrity Commission plans to arrest him before the next election. Is not me say so. Is Montague say so. So if you're going to sue me, sue Bobby too. Because of him say so. Everyone warming and go there and create all sort of excitement about Integrity Commission. Abka Fitz and the left nationwide going I said it and his first presentation was about the Integrity Commission. And if we can get two seconds with talk about nationwide. Nationwide is an incubator for the government. An incubator for the government. Naomi Francis left on press secretary. Cecil Tom's left and town communication director for JUTC. Abka Levanton, Senator, 
Dennis Brooks Lefanton Communication Director for JCF. It is an incubator for the Jamaica Labour Party. And that's why they like to spin things that we say. And I expect them to spin things this evening. But what you are not able to spin is the man who got over Mobile, got talk about him, not talk about election, cause some people hungry for power when they get it and can't do nothing. The person that was hungry for power that got it and can't do nothing is the man who said we could sleep with windows and doors open. But when him get power, him say crime is above our control. A user hungry for power and get it and it'll choke you. We have educators in the country that say, please, may I beg on three million dollar. Just give me that and me will satisfy. The teachers say want three million dollar. Them are protests and they came out and tell them, go on back in the classroom, because if you don't go back in there, we are gonna do this and we are gonna do that to you. The teacher them say, right, we take the two points up now and go on back at work. And in a few months' time. Them raised the minister pay to 28, 23 million dollar. And then they never expect that when it comes to September that teachers did have to resign and leave. Why wouldn't they have resigned and leave if them asked the tree you're not give them but you take 20 out for yourself? It is a wicked and uncaring government that we have in place currently. And we as a party have to do everything to rid the nation of this government and to ensure we have a government in place that cares for the people. I watched the video when I walked in about Doc's contribution to health care. And if you think that everybody in Jamaica have the same opportunity, something wrong with you because we are living in two different Jamaicas. There's one Jamaica when you get sick, you can't get proper health care. There's the next Jamaica, you get sick and you sit down and cheer till you chop off and dead. And you have a minister of health that walking around and tell you about wellness bench. Soul to soul, go play with dog like a lassie I play with. All sorts of antics him I go on with as opposed to go and fix Cornwall Regional. As opposed to go and fix KPH. As opposed to go and fix Spanish Town Hospital. As Dr. Phillips did so that you can have quality health care for the people of this country. I mean, know what that means when me see him walk and touch me say time done. I know what that means. I understand the mission. Time done. <laughs> but I want to close by saying being in politics is difficult. As much as persons think that it's just being in the spotlight and you're always out there, being in politics is difficult. It requires tremendous sacrifice. Sacrifice of family. You don't get to spend the time with your children. You don't get to grow them the way that you would want to. You have to make a sacrifice to serve. And Dr. Phillips made that sacrifice. Being in politics, you have to make sacrifice on your personal health. You don't get to take care of your physical body the way in which you should because of the stress of this job. He made that sacrifice. And for that, we say, respect you. Being in politics is rough because it is something that is cut and trust. And sometimes people are fling things at you and all time, but things happen. And to be truthful, Comrade Dr. Phillips, I have said it every single time that I myself did throw one and two things side. I mean, I'll make you left without saying it. Say so for throwing them one and two things, it was most undeserving. And you're a big man. And you have, we have spoken and we have put that behind us and we have moved on. And you hold on and we have it up for put it on because him put it on. And let us move on and build the People's National Party. Because this party is the only party we know. And this party is the mission that we are working for to ensure that we have a better future for this country. God bless you and have a good evening. You know, the color of a man's skin don't make no difference now. He said, until, until, and I just like to never say why. He said, we Africans will fight if it is necessary. 
Because we are confident in the victory of good over evil. And now we say, internationally, internationally, we see the colonial masters and them white supremacist attitude is raising up them head over the fence again. Yes, we see it happening in America. Every week now, you say, is a mass shooting. And don't take it lightly, because in France, it is also happening. Racism is on the rise in France. And when we look into Africa, it's a serious situation is going on in Africa, you know, where we can't take it lightly. We can't take it lightly. And that is the constant cooing that is taking place. Last week, we came here, we talk about Niger and what was taking place in Niger. Now we see it is Gabon. Gabon, even though a small little country, but it's very wealthy in certain things. And the French has been raping it, raping it with their stooges and their puppet governments. And the army you now get up and say, enough is enough. This family, where the brother named Bongo, his family has been ruling the country for 50 odd years. 50 odd years. I'm listening to a report out there and them say, them going out of the house because them have him under house arrest. And them find millions, millions of dollars in him house. And when them investigate it, him family and all of them have house in this country, many cars in that the country and all them something. And the people them is jumping in the streets with joy that the army deposed him in a coup. It's a long time we don't hear the people them run up and down in the street with the flag and everything and a shout, liberation, freedom. And we see that is what is taking place in a whole heap of countries that call themselves independent. It's just that you have some people in Africa now, like all the army now, they don't care about no election. Because election just done in a Gabon. And when them say who win, them say no way. A robbery. Because the same family come back in a power. Serious thing. And the man them who have the coup, you know, is some man who used to work for the government, for the prime minister. Them decide, say, enough is enough. But I tell you, it's a serious thing. Anytime you say these things start to reach a Senegal, you're going to see something else. Senegal, that is the jewel of France, colonial countries, colonies, I should say, countries. Senegal, you know, Mali. They chase them out. You know, a woolly part ones from even that part of Africa. Chase them out and say, enough is enough. We don't even want your language again. But we know which part that start. Right in our backyard at that start. That spirit of defiance against France and America started right in our backyard, right over a place called Haiti, 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 the, what we call the root of the liberation struggle against French colonialism and white supremacy. And now we hear a lot of breadfruit government talking about them going to send army into Haiti to get rid of the gangs, as what them call it, the gangs. I wonder what them going to call the soldiers in Gabon. Because obviously the people them don't recognize them as no gang. They see them as liberators. 
And should we investigate why is it that there's gangs that is claimed to be taking over IT? We have been talking about this thing from last year, them time, you know. Yeah, right on this continent, stepping with a program here. We have been talking about it long time. And things are boil over now. Yeah, things are boil over. Because we see some of the African country them aside with the French and the American them. For instance, Nigeria and Southern Africa. We see a whole heap of them. As a matter of fact, the AU in general. The AU is declaiming that them have to do something about it. They want to maintain French domination in so-called the colonies of France and these what you call francophone countries look like they will have none of that again none of that we must be able to govern ourselves even in times when it look like we are doing the wrong thing but you know when you do wrong things there is always a solution to get back on track always so when you see people make mistakes them continue, continue, and them what? Them get rid of the mistake and go on the right road. And that is what Africa must do to liberate themselves. And uh, extension, the Caribbean people. The Caribbean people is part of the colonial experience that a whole heap of people feel so complacent about. That them not in a those problem because we have a stable society and a stable government. We can say what we want to say on all these forums here. But look at the masses of the people. If one man declare that him free and the others are not free. No man can truly say that he is free. Because the freedom of one is dependent on the freedom of all. So we have to really take a stock and look how them grab we in our cultural expression, in our eating habits. And we're going to keep saying it over and over and over what we eat, when we eat, how we eat, where we eat, what we, what we wear, how we wear it, when we wear it. All these things is part of the colonial system that we take. Like say, it's not colonialism, we are doing what we want to do. It is embedded in us from them time until now. We are like zombies. We African people are like zombies still treading the slave mill that is grinding slow but grass that is the cry Africa will fight if it is necessary because we are confident in the victory of good over evil and when we talk about Africa we now negate our cross out what is taking place around us because the fight for Africa is the fight for African people liberation anywhere them there. That is why it's called Pan-Africanism. Pan mean all Africa. So it's Pan-African mean all Africa. So when you hear we are talk this way, you don't want to go in the car and not talk about we there. Where we know about our problem here, so. The problem in Africa is the problem of day so. The problem of day so is the problems in Africa. It's not a separate struggle. Because the same people them, the same people them are carry out the destruction. Not only of Africa, but the whole world. The whole world. The whole world is caught 
in a web of confusion where them call democracy and them call it Christianity. Them have us bound in shackles and chains that is invi invisible or uh, invisible to the eyes but very visible in the consciousness of the people them, that it is surrounded by that terrible thing and then we don't even know you see youth on the road no we have a big man we don't even know if a big man still but how many of you know 60 year old man and 70 year old man are crash I mean them are crash them is a problem for what happened on the road a pure youth pure youth when we look upon the death the gun crime in a Jamaica we know you know 60 year old 70 year old 80 year old people a fire gun but them tell me say the youths are the future what kind of future the youth them is bringing to the table I want, want to tell you now, say, it's the fault of the parents. Well, it might be the fault of the parents, but are we now saying that the, the, the youth them is, is dumb and dumbest? That them don't know what wrong is and what right is because they weren't taught that in a classroom. My mother never sit me down yet and tell me say this is that and this is that but just grow up and know say this is that and this is that we want to blame everyone and we should blame because we don't really control the system but the democratic process we don't control it because that done rig long time for the people them in power. So all you hear about voting, voting, voting. The voting done rig. You know see it? When you get the outcome where you think you vote for, you jump up and say, yeah man, I me do that, you know, my vote count. And then when you look down the line, you see him one who has said, Well, I'm sorry, I'm a vote for the government, you know, them wicked and thief and all them really. Yes, it's so it's because all of them promise me. And we don't know in our consciousness that promises are comfort to a fool. And we make them keep carrying me, carrying me, carrying me. What happened to the people them? Look how much people come before and show the way. And we still are look for more people to come come show the way. When we know the problem. We know the problem. The system. The system is a fraud. That is what it is all about. So sometimes you feel say the, the man gone, but it's not the man. The system. The man is just a puppet to the system. That is why this argument about constitutional reform is a farce. Constitutional reform is a farce. It has nothing to do with changes that is necessary to make the people them feel like them in a just society and an equitable society. It's a farce. You're going to use the British Constitution and look on it backwards. It's like you have a piece of paper, a sheet of paper, you write something on it. And you turn around the paper. That is what the Jamaican do. And I talk about constitutional reform. Warm to the educated. And they're not so educated in other society. Why we can shape a constitution that is unique to us and our situation? 
what does it take to have our own constitution that is void of the colonial master's input we're so dumb that we can't even realize uh, reforming or turning the paper upside down and looking for it from back ways is not where I make the thing different it's the same constitution we are used it's just that some liars and some Indian chief are going to sit down and use them European education and turn it round and then bring it to the people them and say see it now and then them say it's a new constitution it's not a new constitution them are look for and the people they must know that it's not a new constitution them asking for you know it's what they want to update the constitution that them have that was given to them by britain so just like when you talk about pnp and jlp and you ball today and say why the pnp look good enough you vote for jlp and you say you vote for something different you're voting for something different in your mind is the same people them the same thinking what is the difference between the pnp and the jlp only the people them that is in the board part of them is the difference but the mindset the manifesto is the same as we always say, like a two-headed dragon with one body. Them coming out for the same thinking. Mark Golden, liar, Indian chief, money management man. Mark Golden is the head of one of the head. And the man called the right honorable. Andrew Olness is the next head. But when you check the head, them, it's one body functioning. And all of the things them that make the body function, make the head function. And anything that make the head function, make the body function. And that is where we have around the country. And then you have some little guys in you know, the parliament, you know, a go on like. You get them at, hey, what the hell them talking about? Unemployment is the lowest since whatsoever. I don't mean the Prime Minister say. But poverty gone up. No, I don't know if it's stupid, me stupid or what. Well, it's like them warm, it's me stupid. Unemployment is supposed to bring prosperity. Is the keen man employed? Uh, when you call him employed, is the is the woman who's long at the school gate selling little juice and little box juice and so, uh, like you call employed? Are you counting these people in the employment stato statistics? Crazy. The producer Shamara just sent me the statistics here about the crime. It's just uh, ironical that. Every, well, not every month, maybe every three months, we hear the police give out a statistics of the murder rate compared to last year. Gone down. This statistics so we get, I will know, say it's not how they make the statistics, yeah. It has shown, say, uh, last year, them have 108 murders that are 2022. This year so far, them have 899 murders. No. Believe you me. And, and it's not today, no. So we, we could say a 900 murders gone in a eight month. You talk about a hundred and odd murders on an average, a hundred and odd murders per month. No, what? The end of August. Today at the end of August, right? Yes, today at the end of August. Tomorrow, the first of September. 
And as of the first, 31st of August, 900 people was murdered in Jamaica. I know them why I could tell you now, say, if you, if you compare it with last year, you could have get 850, the same period, but 100 had murder upon an average per month, for eight months. Last year it was 1,008 murders. Now it's 900 and four more months left. Four more months left, you know. It begs to ask the question again. What the hell the government is doing to curtail the murder rate in Jamaica? That is the big question, you know. People concerned about robbery, people concerned about all the other criminal activities, you know. But you see, the murder rate is a strike to the core of the people, them conscience, consciousness. The core, the murder rate. You can always hear about thief I grab bag and, and the thief them now grab bag again. Them are whole up bank now like real, real criminal. <laughs> I tell you. I tell you. What is it that is happening in Jamaica? 100 and odd people murdered per month on an average. And you have 30 days in a one month. So you know there's more, there's more than three people per day you talk about if you want to carry to that. Yeah, if you want to carry to that. It's more than three people per day murdered upon an average in a Jamaica. What is it they are doing that not resonating with them crime plan, which I, I don't see them have none really, but this, what them call it, the Zozo operation. Them want to have the Zozo 365 days per year and then we tell you say, see that it's stem the crime this Zozo thing is a madness because if them go in our area I mean I don't know I don't know if I mean I have no sense really come like I mean I have no sense really. if them go in our area and the police and them tell the people them to them are coming out of the area if me a gunman me leave that area there you know I hide my gun somewhere and then when the how much days done and come back, you hear the criminal activity start up again. Me don't know, me don't know if I mean I have no sense, but it makes sense to me. It makes sense to me. Nine hundred people get murdered since the year start. The people them is traumatized in Jamaica. Traumatized. Oh well should I mention the statistics and the relationship to the crime rate. Jamaica, I bet you, I bet you any money that in a 80, 100 people not get murdered per day in a 80. Yes. And easy for check to, you know, I wonder if Shamara can check it for me. I stand to be corrected if 100 people get murdered in a 80. Per month. Per month. That is, I mean, Jamaica is supposed to be this stable country, man. It's supposed to be stable. It's supposed to be a beacon of hope for the Caribbean and to a larger extent part of the world. The Minister of insecurity and injustice what the hell you doing that is my question what are you doing look how much equipment me here when I have a big when I have a big exhibition in the arena that are there and by the way I did tell um, 
my ministry of, of, of culture there. I tell her, I say, why them don't transform the arena into a music hall? And them keep putting some little things in there. Every, every six months, you hear something in the arena. The big, big building that they're not using. Them have experts who can't transform it. Transform it into a music hall. That place can hold more than 78,000 people inside it. So. But back to this criminal activities here. Yeah. Them just get some serious crime fighting tools where them uh, exhibit in uh, the arena them every minute them call uh, zozo them call it <laughs> zone of special operation they don't call it state of emergency they don't want to call it that state of emergency and it not help it not help it's not helping. 900 people murdered since the year started, and this is the eighth month. The law of logic, I don't know if it's a logic still, show me say, by the time November done, it's supposed to pass last year. Because last year's 1,008 1, people get murdered. A total of 1,008 people. So the, my, the law of whatsoever me want to call it. I show me say four months left. By November, it's supposed to pass the 1,008 mark. I don't understand these people. I don't understand these people at all. Lad. And anytime we ball out, make it sound like a win, have no sense. They use a little telecation where them get from you blind and want to confuse the people them into some sweet mouth talk. That is what them do. Yes, Il. Afternoon, Muta. How are you? I am okay. I haven't heard in quite a while because I'm not tuning to ready of such. What happened? Your battery dead? <laughs> oh, you're not paying your light bill. <laughs> I have light, man. It's just okay. that sometimes I drop asleep when I um yeah. when it comes on to Wednesday night. Oh, yes. But I find your program is very interesting, you know? Okay, give thanks. Yeah. What I would like to discuss is the issue of the vaccines. It, um, do you hear that um Joe Biden is saying now that there is a new vaccine that is coming out and everybody everybody um will have to take it. The vaccine for what? The COVID um virus. Oh yeah, I never hear about it. I, I hear them say people have to start to wear masks in a certain places again. But I never um, hear about this new vaccine that Okay, so, uh, so what do you say about it? Because uh, me never take the first one. Me never take the first one. Take it. No, but, but I know everybody in America take, take the vaccine. The majority no. of people in, in America never take the vaccine. No. Yeah, and the yes, majority of people are here, so never take the vaccine. Yes, majority took it. It's over 200 million, 200 and odd million people who who took it, yes. No, the majority of people in Jamaica never take it. No, no, no. So, so where do I bring it back for now? For the while? Where, them, where, where you think them are do? <laughs> I don't know. It never worked the first time, so they might come again? Right. Okay, well, make them come. So you never um, take it. Is it true that the U.S. Air Force landed in Jamaica? Because I'm hearing rumors and I want to be No, we are, no, we are, no. Are you, I, I'm glad you mentioned that. It's something I did want to say from last week. can't forget. Look here. Yeah. The, mi the minister, where name up uh, the, the king of Portland? Where name again? Darrell Vaz. Darrell Vaz, the king of, the, the king of Portland. Eh? Him say, him I will get into why the airport was closed. Right. There's something that them are tell people and tell people, but there's something that them never tell the people them. Exactly. And 
I don't hear, I don't you hear him say anything else about why the airport was closed because them say some part of the, uh, the, the runway was this and some part of the runway was that. But well, according to... Well, I hear it through the regular media houses, you know. I heard it through the other platforms. Well, according to the information that I get, and I have no need to doubt it, and I don't hear them say nothing else about it, <laughs> that one of the reasons why the the, 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 the the airport was closed on is because of this... American plane that was landed with a whole heap of dignitaries from the army. Right. You hear about that too? Yes, I heard. So I am going to hold on upon that until somebody tell me say no, no go so. What do you think is their purpose down here? What is it that they want from Jamaica? What is it that they want from All right. You mean the sort you mean the American army? Yes, the American army. Yeah, go, yeah, go ahead. All right, I can tell you where. My theory, and don't... Well, quote me if you want to quote me, but it's, it's a theory. You see, Cuba... Cuba is now facilitating China. The Chinese is in Cuba building up them arsenal of weapons. And Cuba is near to America. Okay. Cuba and China is communist country. So they are aligned. And in the 60s, Russia had interest in Cuba, Castro Cuba. And it nearly started a world war because the Americans saying that Russia was getting too near to Cuba, to, to America. All right. Yeah. Fast forward now. Jamaica is a allied to is aligned to to America. Yeah. Cuba is aligned to China. Yeah. Man a build up this other build up that in a Cuba. Them send plane down here. Yes. I throw me car and I don't call no foul. <laughs> Sorry, yes. yeah. All right. So. Yeah, we have to watch where I go on. Because if you know, I don't hear the king of, the king of um, Portland say nothing else. I wasn't here still. I wasn't here, so I don't know if he'll make any statement. If somebody can call me and tell me, say, yeah. But then we make statement for, for appease the people, them. And don't yeah. tell you exactly what is happening. What that plane was doing in Jamaica during the time of the close of the airport. Exactly. Yes, so uh, it's something for be asked. You're not hearing nothing about it. I want to say one more thing, Mota, because I know you're an interesting individual, and you're you always say that um, even the Bible, one person can have this perspective, another person can see it another way, and so many different people can see it other way. Mm. Um, America has a slogan that says, "In God they trust." Yeah, it's on the money, on the money. Huh? It's on the money, in God we yes, trust. It's on the money. Now, if the God of righteousness, if this God is the God of righteousness and that they trust, how is it that they are going to so many places doing all types of wrong? I don't know whether that has to do with in God we trust on the money. But America feels that them is a watch, watch country for the whole world. Right now, them and Iran might in a big problem now because Iran a sidestep them and do certain things where them can't take with the ship them where go through the waters near Iran. Yeah. Taiwan is a problem to them because China claim Taiwan. The Russia is a problem, problem to them, them because they must say, you know, it's it ironical, you know, I, 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 I assume it all, but it's ironical that. Russia is next, it's almost the same country, you know. It's just a little bad, I think. Russia yeah. and Ukraine is the same landmass, right? Yeah. And the American don't want the Russian and them get no hole in a, a, a Ukraine. But them got clear in a, um, Thai, them, them want Taiwan, the Chinese, they must say, Taiwan uh, uh, is, 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 is China, almost. 
Yeah. And them don't want China to say Taiwan right. is, is part of China, China thing. Them just want to go all over the place and dominate the place and confuse the people, their mind, and then juke you with a legal. Philo- Mad Molly would have said with their devil philosophy. Yeah. You know yeah. why them devil philosophy? Yeah. Yes. In God we trust, all others have to pay. Yes. <laughs> And you know, so them, them matter is out of many one. You didn't know that? Yeah. Yeah, man. It depend, it de- watch out. When I look it out, when I listen, you know, the matter okay. of America is out of many one. I can't play, I can't play Obama, I repeat it. And it depends them, them, what them call it. I think it depends on one of them money, too. If you look oh. at the money, it's in a lot, I think. Out of many one. Oh. Yes. So, so it's almost as close as to Jamaica's um, motto out of many one people. They're not dead. Watch your man. The people who call themselves founding fathers, man. No, America, them get the thing from, man. Okay. And and, and the, the Constitution, no, England, them get it from. Okay. Yeah, and the food where we are eating, no, America, them get it from, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. we, we, the, 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 the people, them, the people, them is traumatized, mama. Traumatized. Yeah. Totally yes. Yeah. Anyway, give thanks. Give thanks. Have a nice day. You too, you too. Thank you. Right. Give him that 18 or 30 mile. And it's not a stable country. And the most, imp- according to them, is the most impoverished country. Maybe in the world. And give him that Jamaica is supposed to be a stable country. And given that Jamaica is a country where people say it's a beacon of hope for freedom for the people. I don't know why we should have each up beside them. We attack Haiti. Because they are fight for something that we don't have to fight for. But yes, we might have to go fight for it. It's a long time it a fight. When a country free itself and have to pay reparation to the colonizers for years. To the point where the money where them appear is more than where them spend in the country to sustain the country and at a go on for years I want to tell the people them say when we are looking we are going in Africa don't move it away from what is going on in Haiti it have a connection the francophone countries them that was colonized by France Africa, most of North Africa was colonized by France. We are talking about Tunisia, Algeria, you know, go right down to, to Mali, Gabon, Senegal. What the hell if you ever hear anything a Kuguan or Senegal? They are talking about Ku. <laughs> if you ever hear about a Kuguan or Senegal, it's it, not nah, lovely. Because Senegal is like the beacon of what France want to see the other country them look like that them colonize. Can you imagine a country named Gambia? Gambia and Senegal is one landmass. It's like you have it's like you have Jamaica. And then you have a parish like St. Catherine. Now, St. Catherine is a different country from Jamaica. Gambia is a different country from Senegal. Even though, as I say, St. Catherine in a Jamaica, 
Gambia et dans le Sénégal, bon que soit. Sénégal, the people in the Sénégal talk French. And the people them in the Gambia talk English. So English is the dominant language in the Gambia. And French is the dominant language in the Senegal. But it's the same landmass. That is the way of the colonizers. Because a lot of the borders dead there, were dead there now. Wasn't there before the Europeans got to Africa. I could say that again, you know. A lot of the borders where you see in Africa right now wasn't there before Europeans got here. It is a conference that them conjure up. Them call it the Berlin Conference. And then cut this and say, cut that and say, this is that and this is that and this is that. Because you have places in a one country where people talk different languages. You go in a certain place in Africa, the Prime Minister, the, the Prime Minister uh, 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 Ivory Coast, whatever, he is a Akan. And the Akan people come from Ghana. But what? Uh, them is people from the Ivory Coast. <laughs> I saw we are tell you Jack said the world level is a serious thing we are confronted with land and the idea of constitution colonization and neocolonialism run deep white supremacies on the rise again in America in a France, yes, in America and in a France, white supremacies rise again. Every week, you have a mass shooting in America. You should have a travel advisory. I don't know the government of Jamaica not put out a travel advisory to America. You're not safe. You play Tita too. Imagine you're going to a supermarket with your family and you come out and your family not come out because a man come in there with a gun and start fire shot at the place and kill the whole people them. That is where I go at. Anybody see the youth them where jump out of the, the window at the second floor of the school because a man come in at the school and a fire shot at the school. The youth them are throw them bag out through the window and them a jump through the window we are talking about like yesterday. That I go on. And the day before that, I, I, boy, may I tell you, welcome to democracy. Welcome to democracy. Okay. We give them name already. We're going to give them again. Because, as we say, some people claim say they never hear it properly and it's spelling and all them something there. Okay. So here we go. Female, Njiri. Njiri, N-J-E-R-I, Njiri. Njiri means anointed, anointed. Enika, Enika, N-N-E-K-A, Enika. Enika means tender. Noni, Noni, N-O-N-I, Noni, means gift of God, gift of God. Sadio, Sadio, S-A-D-I-O, Sadio means pure. Pure. So that's Njiri, N-J-E-R-I, anointed. Enika, N-N-E-K-A, tender. Noni, N-O-N-I, gift of God. And Sadio, S-A-D-I-O, pure. Male name, Kala. Kala, K-A-L-A, Kala. Kala means tall. Kala means tall. All right, so we we'll go. Moriba, Moriba, M-O-R-I-B-A, Moriba. Moriba means curious, curious. Nashka, Nashka, sorry, Kashka, Kashka, 
K A S H K A Kashka means friendly and Ifoma Ifoma I F O M A Ifoma means lasting friend. So that's Kala K A L A Kala means tall. Moriba Moriba M O R I B A Moriba means curious. Kashka K A S H K A Kashka means friendly and Ifomo Ifoma Mota blessed evening sir. Blessed man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, no, I have to suck me, you know, man. Come like you walk, do you walk? Yeah, man. You get away from the rear, you know? Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, I'm finding the money changing time. Then I want to talk to you about the changes of the money. What do you think are the true cause and the true reason for changing the money? I don't know if you're right. You mean change You mean the look of the money? The whole system. The whole system. Well, the way I think, say, the money kind of look like they confirm to where our money look nowadays. Because if you look on the Canadian dollar, mm. if you look on the, 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 um, the British pound, they yeah. have to see a material and make them, so I guess, I don't know, they are confirm. Yeah, well, we don't really have to talk about the looks and the quality still, you know, the reason, the reason to do it. So, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I want to tell you, you see the bottom line, I most of the change yeah. this money, I have to get some pirate on the money where I don't think I should have these people I walk up and down around with in my pocket. But they are the same people, yeah, they are the same people. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We actually have one decade of people that are dead through Michael Manley and Siaga. Them the two major person we are talking. We have a whole heap of family and friends them dead off through these people with them with them political tribal war and no you can take them put pan money that's how if you have them a walk around within a me pocket. Uh, Alright, hold well, on uh, which money them they pan? The two, two, which bill they, 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 they pan? Brother. Then all you have to do is just wait well, now, hold on now. All you have to do is don't walk up and down with it in your pocket. Just get definitely, definitely the one thousand dollar bill. Definitely avoid them as much as you know, can. Yeah, well, avoid it, avoid it. Avoid destruction it. them, them If you feel so strong about it, avoid it. I just, I just want to hear me talk as I feel, man. I feel yeah. strongly about it, man. Yeah, me hear it. Me hear the feeling. But what mm-hmm. I say, just try to change the $2 and the $1,000. Me tell people, say, me don't want to find them. If they have money for me, I don't want to Me don't want them. No, why? You tell them to keep it? Yeah, man. All right, here one out. Entire of them. Yeah. All right, now your address. Yeah. Entire of them. Yeah. Now your address and you bring it come. No, man. You don't talk to me, man. You don't talk to something else, man. Anyhow. Let yeah. me shift from that topic. Eh. Yeah. Want to talk to you? Hello, you never did a Marcus Javica. I always hear them talk about some people where, where, uh, when they announce them event, they talk about them. Where them call this many more. I want to know if this is a class, this is a command, and I go up and scale up a Marcus Javica something. Because I think that this man has planned them things from way back from me. He said, Marcus Javica something now. Oh, the man will go up on the stage? Go stand up? The man who is going to stand up? Yes. Yeah, what do you say about it? Yeah, I want to know if I'm going to call many more. I want to call no, many more, more is a group, you know. No, 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 no. I'm not involved man, with many more. This man will call many more. I'm no, 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 no. Many, many more are my group. I'm a, it's a group, you know. I don't know him that. I'm my hey. group, that many more. Man, is a man who many more, you know. No, man, but I don't mean, tell you, it's my group, but you know, you're, you're so out of here. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, Many more okay. of my group. So, uh, oh, yeah. But me, here, me see the brother, you know, me see the, hey, watch him. Me lay down in a hotel in London, you know, I watch the whole thing, you know, till five o'clock yeah. in the morning. Because yeah. five hours different, so when, when long as I had 12 hours, it's about five. And yeah. me see the brother stand up on the stage, and me have to wait. Oh, the artist come off on the stage, and him now come off. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We are trying to figure out this way about dealing with it. And they yeah. the altercation and all them really, but... Yeah, I know him near many more, though. I know him, I mean. Are you at the end here, sir? Yeah, yeah, me have a group near and many more. Okay, so listen to me now. You see, I watch and inspire Marcus, the everything that's right. I know that should have never happened. 
I, I want the man to put measures in place that's the only thing that will happen because um, it's a just I saw when the man them have boxing. I want to know if them pay these, these um, security or insecurity or this security and the police, them are a volunteer that them take so long to run. So, this yes, or before, I'm um, supposed Something, something else could happen before they fall out in a man. Cause yeah, but I couldn't suppose that something else could happen. Man, I never happened. I couldn't suppose it. You're supposed to have security can right at this stage just for any little funny yeah, move. Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to have security at this stage. Yeah. 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 So yeah well, I don't, in all the years it'll keep, I don't force that to happen. Yeah, but me hear them say similar thing like that happened already still in a while. I think. Then eh? if you, um, yeah. Because we can't afford to I didn't know I wanted to say that. I said, I'm going to be a fool, man. I'm going to be a fool. I'm going to be a fool. I'm going to be a fool. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Every time I hear some apology, I make it so I make a thing where I pay for an area for my man. I'm going to be a fool. I'm going them suspend area for my life. I'm going to take away area for my life. So I'm going to be a fool. See what you can do about them because the lowest thing where some people really have me come through the year with you. Hear me tell you, sir? Yes, sir. And, and again, one more thing, a long time I find out me and me beg you, you know what I bring up forward this kind of person. Like me, I listen to the program and I hear the I talk about when I left the yard from 8 o'clock till 9 o'clock, you come in like say, you just shadow your life and not see you again. So I beg you to pay this little song by one little. Bella when you have black hero. So I'm just a pray for me to come back this evening because I must say Donkey said the earth no level and him believe him. Where the song name? Where the song name? Donkey said the earth no level and me believe him. I say song, I think I say song name, but him say I'm just a pray for me to come back this evening. Where the name? The name is the... supposed to know the new the tone. And who? 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 Who supposed to know it? The name is supposed to know it, man. Can I share me that here? The name is... Yeah, man. Me don't know if you know it. Yeah, man. Come on, suppose you know it, too, man. All right. You have to tell me where it name. You have to tell me where it name. Come on, know it. It's better Black Hero, it's me, man. I could be on Black Hero. I'm seeing the show. Are you bridging? No, no, me bridging. I don't know. So I don't know. Okay. I have to the show. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. But when, when you come off, me go ask you, man. Just give a listening ear to you. Just listen carefully. Yeah, when you come off, me go ask you. I think every man who uses the road at the time supports the thing that you want. Eh? Yeah, because you want to make it to him back this evening. All right, sir. All right. If you don't come up, you can't get to play it though, because I don't even know how it's shown. I'm not going to tell me how it's shown. Yeah, Wait, man, somebody, somebody will call you and tell about it's shown, man. Call All right, sir. Give thanks. Yeah, the informative information presented in this video is motivational and is positively aimed at inspiring, educating and entertaining the viewers with the cutting edge of critical reasoning. If you enjoy the contents on the Black Radar YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to show your support. This is Muta Baruka. We want to present to you a wholesome kind of level of consciousness right now. So, subscribe and tell your friend them. This is Muta Baruka.